Speaker, Canadians want to know what this finance minister has been hiding from them over the past two years. They know he hid his stocks in Morneau Chappelle. They know he hid his ownership in a French corporation, an act for which he was found guilty by the Ethics Commissioner. And over the last two years, he has not disclosed what he's been owned, what he's owned in his various numbered companies. Simple question. He may have disclosed yesterday, but the previous two years, he has not disclosed to Canadians what's in his numbered company. What's he hiding? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, uh, the member opposite is incorrect. I have disclosed what's in all of my uh, companies to the uh, Ethics Commissioner, and from day one I've disclosed 100% of my assets to the Ethics Commissioner. That is what allows us to do the work that we're doing on behalf of Canadians. The work that we started two years ago when we found ourselves with an economy that was not growing fast enough. We decided that we had a choice, and the choice was to create jobs for Canadians. Mr. Speaker, it's working. Again, more than 500,000 new jobs over the last two years, a situation where our economy is growing faster than it's grown in a decade. This is helping Canadian families to succeed. Honourable Opposition Order. Honourable Opposition House Leader. Very typical of this finance minister, playing games with words and semantics, but the spirit of disclosing his assets, by which he was found guilty by the Ethics Commissioner, he is absolutely guilty of, and he doesn't have the decency to admit it to Canadians. This is why they don't trust him. Very simple question. If he had nothing to hide over the last two years when he was regulating industries that he may have owned shares in, why doesn't he tell Canadians what he owned in the last two years in his number of companies? And no Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we don't play games and we don't use semantics. What we do is we disclose what we need to disclose in order to make sure we get on with the work. So by disclosing all of my assets to the Ethics Commissioner. Order. Earlier, I asked members to try not to be provoked by things because people on both sides will sometimes say things that might, someone, some might find provocative. But the challenge for all of us is, is to be like most of members in this House, of all parties, who are able to sit through question period and hear things that they might consider provocative without reacting. Right the Honourable <laughs> Minister of Finance has the floor. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just to finish off, what we're doing on this side of the House is we are very focused on ensuring that Canadians are successful. And the good news is it's absolutely working. Canadians have a higher level of confidence because they actually have more money. The Canada Child Benefit, the tax reductions that we put in place have allowed people to put money back into our economy, which is helping all of us to succeed. It's a good news story for Canadians, Mr. Speaker.